nothing. Amen. I ain't nothing without Christ Jesus. Amen. Oh, that's enough. I'm going to preach. I'm going to start preaching. Amen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to start preaching. So the first brother that we're bringing up, uh, and again, my name is L.D. Harris. Uh, if you look at your schedule, Brother Roberts was supposed to be the session director. But, you know, uh, we all look alike. We're all Christians, right? We all supposed to look like Jesus. Well, my name is Brother L.D. Harris, and I'm with the 69th Street Church of Christ. And I will be bringing up... Uh, Brother Ashley Hill Man. from uh, Beaverton, Oregon, and he will talk about his uh, his uh, uh, sermon would be on truthful speech. Amen. Yes, and again, you can't you can't hide the truth. The truth Man. is the truth. Amen. And let me uh, tell us uh, tell you something about uh, Brother Hill. He's from Piedmont Congregation Church of Christ, uh, the Church of Christ of Piedmont or Piedmont Church of Christ. Uh, his uh, spouse is. Uh, uh, Natricia Hill, excuse me, thank you, brother. He's been married about nine years. All right, doing good. All right. Uh, he has zero children, but he's in the process of adopting. Amen. Uh, he just recently located. How long was uh, long serving in, at your congregation? Uh, one year, I guess. He just recently located. Uh, how many years you been preaching? Sixteen years. All right, sixteen years. And it says he was a former youth minister. Uh, tra uh, uh, trained boys in the uh, GYN, Godly Young Men, uh, I guess, uh, organization or uh, ministry. And that's where we're supposed we, we supposed to get them brothers when they're young. Yes, Raise them up in the church. Yes, we won't have so many problems. Amen. 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 He said, where did you receive your training from? He said, from God. There you go. From, from the Lord. That's right. That's right. The education is good, but the Lord is better. Amen. Amen. That's the real university right there. The Lord Jesus. He said, I'm still in training. That means he's humble. That means he thinks, you know, he, he just hasn't learned enough. Amen. And guess what? We'll never learn enough. Amen. Amen. And he also trained at the Nazareth Bible College. And he said, uh, and uh, I have one more question here to answer for him. Uh, what would you like us to know about you? He said, I'm rude of speech. And I'm going to let him come up and then explain that to you. Amen. Yes, <laughs> Without any further ado, I'm going to let Brother Howard sing one more song. Uh, a, a part of a song, Brother Howard, and then we're going to bring up Brother Hill. Amen. Amen. Stand by to get fed. Amen. Amen. Let's go to uh, page uh, 109. I'm so glad Jesus Yes, yeah. yeah. 109. It's a favorite song. It's a favorite yeah. song. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Thank you. 
and all the time. Uh, preach, pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come unto you, Lord, just thanking you for everything you continue to do. Lord, be with me as I get ready to preach your word, Lord, and be with my mouth and guide me in everything that I need to say to your people, Lord. Not yeah. miss me, Lord, but get your message, Lord. Thank yeah. you for the many blessings you give me mm -hmm. and forgive my sins, Lord, that it may hinder this yes. uh, prayer from going forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now they say behind good singing uh, <laughs> is good preaching. Yes, sir. Preach yes, sir. So everybody after me is going to be good preaching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my topic is, is truthful speech. Yes, sir. And in the book of Second uh, Corinthians six, it says, "We then, as workers together with Him, beseech ye also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain." And verse three, it says, "Giving no offense in anything." that the ministry, ministry. be not blamed. Yeah. It is important that the ministry be not blamed. Paul has a certain way of checking himself and also checking other people. Amen. You, you know, uh, we get offended sometimes when we, we get checked. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. But Paul didn't mind checking people. Yes. <laughs> okay? And we as Christians have to make sure we're living the Christian life. Amen. He said, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God yeah. in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distress, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings. Have we fasted much? That's an unutilized weapon, spiritual weapon, that we need to utilize more often. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love and fame, by the word of truth. And he wanted to, uh, me to tell you about truthful speech. Well, first thing we need to know, what truth is. <laughs> Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. If anybody else tells you they the truth, they lying. Paul Pierce was saying that he was the truth. That, that's not it. That, that's not it. And in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Now the truth has always been here. We got to search for the truth. We got to crave the truth. But some of us, Come on, mm -hmm. Come on, Some of us don't like to hear the truth. Some of us want our ears tickled. The Bible says in John 1, 14, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory and the glory of the only begotten Father, full of grace and truth. And something that uh, the Scripture does as well, it in 2 Timothy it says all scripture yes, sir. is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect and thoroughly furnished. Yeah. So that's what truth is and that's what truth is for but the truth has characteristics. For the word of God is quick yes, sir. and is powerful uh -huh. and sharper than any two-edged sword, yes. piercing even to the dividing asunder of, so of the soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and is the discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Mm -hmm. That is something else. It is the discerner of the thoughts. Yes. You, can, you can have sin up in your mind yes. and replace it and replace it with truth. Amen. You know, I get bad thoughts. I'm going to just tell you the truth, preacher. I get bad thoughts. And when I do, the first thing I say is Jesus. Amen. Jesus clears that out. Just, just start thinking Jesus and it clear it out real quick. And uh, 
Now, now that I told you what truth is, uh -huh. I, I, I think we need to hear the ugly truth. Because yes. the truth can get really ugly. Yes. And, and sometimes we need to hear the ugly truth about ourselves. That's right. And especially us ministers. Amen. You know, we, 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 don't, we don't walk on ministers' toes too much, you know, from the pulpit. And uh, we we need to start because if you take a look at the brotherhood, and I'm not talking, I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, you ministers. I'm talking about the other ones. <laughs> you, 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 you know they be doing the most. You, you know, but God has sent a man of God to you. Amen. You can be a man of God, and He'll send one to you. In Second Samuel, it says. 2 Samuel 12, it says, And the Lord sent Nathan unto David. And he came unto him and said unto him, There were two men in one city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had exceeding many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing save the one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nourished up. And it grew up together with him and with his children. It did eat of his own meat and drank of his own cup and lay in his bosom and was unto him as a daughter. And there came a traveler unto the rich man, and he spared to take of his own flock and of his own herd to dress the wayfaring man that was came unto him, but took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man that was come to him. David needed to hear the ugly truth. Amen. You, you know, the tru truthful speech is often uh, needed when we don't want to say it. Yeah. You know, there, 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 there's fear in telling the truth sometimes. Well, I'm not scared of y'all. <laughs> so I, so I, I'm going go, to go ahead and say it. Uh, David seen that woman and just had to have her. He lost sight of the fact that he was a child of God. And if men of God lose sight of the fact that we're men of God, we're in trouble. And David wasn't the only one. Mm -hmm. Amen. And First Samuel two it says, "Now Eli was very old, yes, sir. and heard all that his sons did unto all of Israel, yes. and how he lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he said unto them, Why do you do such things? For I hear your evil dealings by all the people. Nay, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear. You make the Lord's people transgress. It's too many, hear me well, players in the pulpit. It is too many players in the pulpit. And, and if you don't know what a player is, <laughs> hello, read Solomon. <laughs> read, read Solomon. He, 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 he's good at that. And not only that, and, and I'm saying, we as men of God cannot lose sight of the fact of who we are. This is this is serious business. The ministry cannot be blamed. What, what does James 3 1 say? What that say, brother? Be not many masters. Be not many masters. Know ye not? Know ye not? We shall suffer the greater condemnation. We shall suffer the greater condemnation. This is serious business. Preaching is serious business. Being a man of God is serious business. And you preachers who claim y'all training men need to go ahead and tell them this is serious business. Because I don't get up here playing games. Because I'm going to receive a greater condemnation. This ain't a game to me. And it shouldn't be a game to you. And too many preachers out here are thinking it's a game. In verse 17 of uh, uh, 1 Samuel 2, it says, Wherefore the sin of the young man was great before the Lord, for the men abhorred the offering of the Lord. So not only are there prayers in the pulpit, there's also hirelings in the pulpit. Too many people 
We need to, <laughs> we, as a congregation, as, as people of God, we need to quit sitting back and, and thinking men is going to handle it. Because uh, I'm telling you, because a lot of men, yes. mm -hmm, yeah. a lot of men, they back. It's got some jelly in it. Well, <laughs> they back got some jelly in it. We need man of God. So, them, them, them people that, uh, them disciples that Jesus called, they, they was roughnecks. They tell you the truth, them fishermen, them, them fishermen were used to going through some stuff. Amen. You know, they wasn't, they wasn't, they wasn't weak. Right. You know, we, if we in God's army, that's called an army for a reason. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> uh, 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 are, you, are you following me? Yes, and here's another thing that David did. David gave a stamp of approval to kill Uriah. Yes, and we are given too much stamps of approval yeah. on stuff that we shouldn't. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Bass micing. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello. What, what, what's, that, what, what's all that stuff? Tell, tell, tell me some of the stuff I was. Tell, what they doing? Praise dancing. Praise dancing. Oh my gosh. We do, we do, we doing the most. We doing, we need to be doing what thus says the Lord. Amen. Period. Amen. Point blank. Man. You know, if, if the word of God don't say it, don't do it. Amen. Period, right. point blank. Amen. And, I, and I don't care what the elders say. I don't care what the preachers say. Right. I don't care what the deacons say. That what the thus said the Lord say. Amen. And and people look, people look at me like, why do I preach like this? Because I see what preachers do. Amen. And I'm not saying y'all y'all preachers, but y'all know what they do. Amen. We hold what they be doing. You you wonder why congregations split after split after split. All right. And sometimes it be mainly because of who's standing right in the pulpit. Right. Right. In, in this uh, in this passage, Paul was saying we can't just talk the talk. Amen. We we got to walk the walk. Amen. And the Bible reads, and it came to pass in the morning that David wrote a letter to Job and sent it by the hand of Uriah. And he wrote in the letter saying, set Uriah in the forefront of the hottest battle, and retire ye from him, that he may be smitten and die. Yes, yes. Now, if you, you follow the story, yes, sir. Uriah was faithful yes, he was. to David. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was. Amen. Why are we being faithful to men instead of faithful to God? Amen. See, we, we, some people are training yes men. Yes. They're not training men to God. Yes. They're training yes men. Yeah. Uh oh, they guide me back over. Like, get back over there. <laughs> All right. We, we, need to, we need men of God to be men of God. Amen. We can't train up yes men. Amen. We need to. We need people to be like. Uh, what about this preacher? You know, we we, we need people who always call us out. Yes, sir. Not, and, 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 and the Bible says, "Iron sharp as iron." Yeah. Yes. Amen. You, you know, how are we gonna be sharp if, if we don't want no sharp people around us? Yeah. You, you know, we we need that. We need that. And it, it, it's it's another thing that being faithful to God. Is a everyday thing. Thank you. A everyday thing. You wake up whether you're on the job, whether you're at home, whether you're in the grocery store. We need to be about God's business. Amen. And uh, I remember the the Bible says, and Jesus went to the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple. And overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves. And he said unto them, It is written, My house shall be a call, called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. A den of thieves. Are we turning God's house into a flea market? No. Because if you look, you, you walk up in there, they got some of everything for sale. Even they souls. Amen. <laughs> Hello. Amen. 
we, 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 we really need to uh, be careful what we're doing in God's body. Yeah. Yes, sir. And and be quiet if you want to. But I don't, I don't, I don't, you, you know the truth. The, the truth is ugly. You want truthful speech? This is what you want. And and, and I take it y'all here because y'all don't want y'all ears tickled. Y'all y'all, y'all y'all want the truth brought to you. Jesus was so serious about getting the men up out of there, the money changers. In one of them, uh, one of them gospels, he took a cord and whipped the men. Yes, sir. He gave some grown men. <laughs> yes, sir. Some weapons. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, 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 tell me, God wasn't serious. Tell, tell me, tell me, he wasn't serious. Yeah. He said he was buying. Or selling. Yeah. I mean, whew, where I'm at? Okay, ain't nobody here. <laughs> Woo, fish dealers, oh, man, they out there doing the most sometimes. <laughs> they be doing the most. And you got to stand up, even if you're the only one. Amen. Even if, let, let them call you, let them call you trouble. Let them call, oh, he, he, he just, he, 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 he just don't want to uh, progress or want to evolve or see the church. No, it ain't about the church. No man in this congregation or no congregation ever added to the church. Amen. All right. All right. Say that. God does. Amen. Period. Point blank. Amen. Amen. Quit following man Amen. and follow God. Yes, sir. Amen. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen. I'm, 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 I'm giving you scripture for it. So you know he whooped these people <laughs> that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of the money sitting. And when he had made a scourge, a small scourge, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table. He went up in the Lord's house and handled his business. You know, I, I've been, have anybody been places where a table was turned over? Yeah. That, 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 it wasn't no happiness going on when, uh, when I said where I was. I don't know where y'all y'all been. <laughs> wasn't no happiness where the table got turned over. Amen. What I'm saying is sometimes we have to turn over a table Amen. to get the wrong thing up out of God's church. Amen. That's Amen. that's my lesson. Amen. That is my lesson. Um, I hope that um, you have garnered something for it. But one of the things that I um, wanted to really uh, elaborate on y'all is we can't just talk the talk. Yes, sir. We, 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 we have to walk the walk. We can't sanction things that God did not sanction Amen. In, in his church. And if we men of God, men of God, we got to stay the course and train men of God. Yes, sir. Don't train no yes man. Yes. Don't, you, you, you know, you, you trying to train men to follow you. No, train them to follow Jesus. Yes. Paul even said, follow me as I follow Christ. If he ain't following Christ, don't be following him. Amen. And you sisters, if they ain't following Christ, don't be following them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. All right. Amen. 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 God bless. Over here. Well done, sir. You didn't do it right. You know. Look here. Over at 69th Street. Brothers and sisters. You do it right. You know. Look here. Over at 69th Street. Brothers and sisters.